Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with something that is absolutely awesome. We have a brand new Marco Makes release that has just recently hit the Etsy shops of Sierra Tech, so of course this is a collaboration between the two. We've got the Marco Makes Sick Triceratops, and this is absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, not only does it show off how unbelievably talented Marco makes is because the sculpt on this is far and away the best version that I've seen of a sick Triceratops from Jurassic Park. It also shows you how super impressive and high quality the print quality is from Sirid Tech. Like, the detail on this is practically jumping off of the sculpt. And if you can't tell from this vantage point right now, we're going to go ahead and jump to a closer look and I'll show you from there. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Triceratops, you can see again exactly as I was talking about. Look at the detail on this. Man, is that ever impressive. Not only, again, how impressive Marco's detail is, but how good it looks on the actual printed out version. Like, look at that. That scale detail, again, like I said, is literally jumping off of the sculpt. This is going to be a really fun one to paint because with detail that good, it'll practically paint itself. But as you look into the face here, you can see that perfect look of a Jurassic Park style Triceratops. Like there is a very unique, very specific look, I think, to the original Jurassic Park Triceratops. And it's something that not many people have been able to recreate, honestly. Like not many companies that I've seen release Jurassic Park style Triceratops have really been able to capture the look and feel of a JP style trike. But Marco has perfectly done that here with his sculpt, especially when it comes to that head sculpt and the way it looks. You can see some really impressive fine detail there in the beak. We've got the nostrils sculpted out. Skin texture, as I already mentioned, is out of this world. You've got some really nice detail there around the eye, nice kind of creasing and stuff. You can see some cracks and crevices in the horn and these horns as well. Again, very impressive detailing in every area. Obviously, as we move up into the frill where I was just showing you, the detail somehow manages to look even better. Again, super, super crisp skin texture and scale detail throughout the course of the entire frill of our Triceratops. And as we move over here to the other side, you can now see the side of the Triceratops that is actually kind of laying down on the ground and what it looks like and everything over here, which means that once you lay it flat, you'll still be able to see the side of the face of the Triceratops sticking up. As you move into the throat, you can see some more wrinkling increasing and very impressive scale detail leading into the throat. Same deal as we move up here into the back of the frill. You can see again, Marco does not skimp out anywhere. His models are as highly detailed as you are going to find and you can see that just right there on the back of the frill. As you move up into the back of the neck, you can see some wrinkling increasing in the skin of the neck right there. Moving back into the body, you start to pick up those classic Jurassic Park osteoderms that the Triceratops is littered with. And again, he's done a very good job of creating those as well as, again, the very nice scale detail throughout. Moving down into the front leg, you can see the muscle definition. You can also see the elbow sculpted out back there. The Triceratops is laying exactly as it was was in Jurassic Park so he's done a great job of positioning the limbs and everything to replicate that. Moving down into the foot you can see the wrist as well as the toes and again the nails also have that look and feel of the JP Triceratops perfectly. As we move back up into the stomach you've got like a few creases in the skin right there. Moving up you can continue to see the creasing in front of the thigh. Moving up to the very top look at how good that scale detail looks in the skin texture. It is absolutely phenomenal. You've got the spinal column moving along there again more of those osteoderms and as you move over to the other side obviously we're gonna have a bit of a different look because this side of the triceratops is kind of like flattened down because it is laying on this side currently but i love the fact that even though it's kind of laying on this side marco has still actually sculpted out the skin texture and everything on both sides to make it look super highly detailed uh, obviously you can see a few areas kind of look a little bit less vibrant than we see on the other side but the fact that it actually still has the skin texture over here is really impressive because most people most companies that recreate the sick triceratops don't bother because it lays on that side but as you can see again as we move back into the thigh we've got more muscle definition more wrinkling increasing as you lead down you can see the knee and a large calf muscle and then again the rear foot which looks really good you 
can't see the opposing foot back there kind of hiding behind that foot but if you look over here you can actually still see the foot sculpt again sculpted out by marco same deal for the front foot which is kind of obscured by this foot over here you don't really see it too well but marco still made sure to sculpt it out and make it look awesome and then we lead out into the tail again for the triceratops you've got more of those osteoderms leading out and again the tail laying on the ground you can see the skin texture and everything for the underside looks absolutely fantastic as well so i am now going to have to try to do this model justice and paint it up hopefully i can do that let's go ahead and find out and we'll come right back when it's done so here is my fully finished and painted version of the sick triceratops and i must say i'm pretty darn happy with it but i'm sure as per usual it's probably mostly due to how darn good the sculpt on this is. As you can see, once you add a little paintwork to it, it obviously enhances the detail and shows you how crazy impressive the sculpt is. But then again, I mean, when we were first looking at it, I feel like it was already showing you how darn impressive the sculpt on this is because of how good the print quality is of Ciratech. But you can see as you move around the entire thing, again, how good that scale detail looks, how good the fine detail on the triceratops looks as a whole and uh, that head sculpt man that is just so perfect to what a jurassic park triceratops and specifically of course the sick triceratops looks like but like i said you can just see how much incredible detail is found on this and how lifelike it can become once you add a little bit of paintwork to it it absolutely pops in the best way possible and of course the fact that marco has sculpted it out here you can see for pretty much on both sides again to show off how amazing of a triceratops this is from every side from every vantage point this is definitely the sick triceratops if you ask me i don't think that there's a better one on the market anywhere i painted mine up i do know that the triceratops from jurassic park is actually meant to be like a grayish color as far as i'm aware but when we see it, the uh, sick version it's kind of like covered in dirt and dust and stuff so it looks a lot more brown so that's usually whenever i paint a sick triceratops which this is only the second time i've ever painted one i usually try to go for the brown look because i feel like that's the way it's portrayed in the movie if i ever get a chance to paint a jurassic park triceratops that's not sick Maybe I'll try the uh, gray coloration, but again, this thing is absolutely unbelievable in every way. Now, as far as a size goes on the Triceratops, it might actually be a little bit tough to get this measurement because the body curves, so like the tail's in the center, so there's no real flat area where we can get a perfect measurement. So we're just going to have to do basically our best guess and I'm looking here at about eight and a half inches or around 21 and a half centimeters in length. I don't think we're going to get too much in the way of like a width or anything. If we go from the foot to the back, about three and a half inches or nine centimeters roughly. So for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the attack pack, Colovasaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the collect a human being next to our Marco makes slash Syrah Tech Sick Triceratops. And you can see it is very quite nicely sized, honestly. I would say it's one of the more conveniently sized versions of this Triceratops that I've seen because most end up being a little bit too big. Then as far as the size comparison goes next to some other Triceratops, here is the Bandai Planosaurus version of the Triceratops, which is definitely a bit smaller. As well as the Papo Triceratops, which you can see is kind of similar in size, but just a little bit bigger. And then one final size comparison, we also have a How Long Good Nasutoceratops next to the Triceratops, again showing you that the Triceratops this time is a little bit bigger. So this Marco Makes Siret Tech collaboration of the release of the sick Triceratops from Marco is awesome. Honestly, if you can either paint this yourself or, of course, hire somebody to paint it for you, there's plenty of people out there that uh, you know offer up their services and could probably do a way better more screen accurate paint job than I have here but uh, this is absolutely no questions asked one of if not the single best sick triceratops on the market honestly I wouldn't even say one of it is the best like as far as screen accuracy goes you won't find anybody capturing screen accuracy more perfectly than Marco makes he has studied these dinosaurs to no end to make 
make sure that they look as accurate as possible with each and every release. Not to mention if you just watch his YouTube channel, you'll consistently see him making Hammond correction videos showing you how the dinosaurs should look. So if somebody knows what the dinosaur is going to look like and wants to capture it perfectly, it's going to be Marco. And I think he perfectly has done that here with the Triceratops. As I said earlier in the review, the Jurassic Park Triceratops has a very unique and specific look to the head and neck and everything and he has hammered this out perfectly to look like that and on top of that the fine detail throughout is as impressive and realistic as it gets you've got all of the nice scale detail you have skin wrinkles and folds you've got the osteoderms throughout and again every ounce of detail you would want to see on top of that, he's captured the positioning of the Triceratops and the pose perfectly to recreate the sick Triceratops as well. So overall, this is a fantastic release, and Ceratex print quality is honestly out of this world, making it one of the most vibrant dinosaur models I think I've seen. So if you are interested in grabbing one of these and adding them to your collection, I will include a link in the description to where you can do that on the Sierra Tech Etsy shop. So make sure you check that link. Definitely pick up this Triceratops while it's still in stock and like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.